to make a reaction review, to react and review to things on the internet. And today is a great day because 18 hours ago, Hobson released his brand new single called Along With Me. It has almost 700,000 views already and 112,000 likes. I'm excited because the last time I heard from Hobson was on Lost, but the last single that I, I reacted to was his, I forget the name of it, but it was the song that he did talking about the domestic violence that he grew up with as a kid. So I'm really, really excited. Excited. I'm interested to see what kind of sound this is going to be. Is it going to be serious? Is it going to be more playful? Is it going to be hard? Is it going to be dragging people? I don't know. Okay, no more talking. We're going to get right into it. Okay. Marcus fucking Hobson. My guy, what up? Don't mean to intervene. How are things going? Talk to me. How you living, G? You look so confused right now. Do you remember me? Cause I've been with you since a teen, fucking you up mentally. I love it, dude. Staying inside your head with a rent is free. I'm just here to make sure you keep all your crazy tendencies. Look at yourself in disbelief, struggle with your identity. Stuck in depression until you diagnose with it clinically. How's your love life? It's still a trifling mess. Nigga, you 35. You haven't found a wife yet? I mean, if I was you, would I be stressed? Why ES? I guess the mail order bride is nice, it might be best. <laughs> So how did you manage to get rich yet be so empty? Constantly stuck in a deep old frenzy Maybe your ego ain't eco-friendly Bro, you got a life that we don't envy And I bet suicide must be so tempting Do it. Ooh, I'm, I think suicide must be so tempting Oh my god, and I love that other part I was like, how do you get so rich and be so empty? Because it just shows like All the material wealth in the world does not fix what's going on within, within you um, I'm loving the beat so far. I'm loving the video so far. I love everything about it and it does give me best rapper ever vibes. I'm not saying it was any copying or biting or anything like that. Great minds think alike. I'm pretty sure that this, this video was in the plans and it works for a long time, but it does give me best rapper vibes when Tom McDonald had his sort of demon self or his inner voice battling with him and stuff like that. So, but it's really good and I really love it. Let's continue. I must be so tempted. Do it. Wait, hold up. Damn. Fuck's wrong with me. I can't leave me alone with me. I'm like, who is this nigga? I'm riding my ferry. I really like this sound. It gives me some old school vibes. Like almost like retro R&B Motown vibes. And I love that camera work that was going on when he was just standing still and the camera was like moving all around. I really like that camera work. It's really good. All right, let's continue. Why do I feel you? So how's the rap life? Do people enjoy your music? Or are you still spitting that bullshit to destroy the youth with? Be honest, you live in the shadow with Joy and Lucas. Uh -oh. Jealous? <laughs> I know that you are, my point is proof. What fuck happened to you? You was spitting so cold. You was the ill mind I hopsin' on the list with the ghosts. Then you fell off. You should've took a different approach. Uh -huh. I hate to say it, but you'll never be like Kendrick or Cole, nigga. Damn. It's fucked up. That isn't fair, Marcus. I'm hoping that God will answer your prayers, Marcus. But even if he does, the chances are rare that you'll have hands in the air. Headlining Madison Square Garden so Nigga, put the mic down, don't you fight this fight Cause you the corny rapper, only weird white kids like So every time the blogs post you, the comments gon' roast you I will Okay, man, he's like antagonizing himself Um, I'm sure these are like the inner voices and inner turmoil that he's been going through that he's displaying for the world to see i like the bar where he talked about like are you gonna still be making music to destroy the youth with i don't know hobson's past music i don't know if his music was toxic or had bad messages in it or was all about drinking smoking hoes materialism i actually don't know that i'm assuming because of that bar that maybe it was and if it was it's nice that he's recognizing that and kind of putting out there that that's what the music might have been doing so i do like that um but yeah i'm, I'm still liking i'm liking what i'm seeing so let's let's continue the comments go roast you i would rather be dead than be caught living in your shoes wait hold up i'm tripping folks wrong with me i can't leave me alone with me i'm like who is this nigga and why do i feel it couldn't be clear the man inside the mirror Right. 
I got an idea. I'll tell you how it works. It's gonna sound a little outrageous, but hear me out first. Turn your phone off for two weeks and start an outburst of worried family members, which leads to a local town search. But when they find you, you dead inside of your crib with a letter that says goodbye to your kid. <laughs> but you don't get to see him anyway, cause your ex is wild and shit. So when it's little head, it's like you already died. It's a trip. While you reside in heaven or hell, whichever side that it is, your baby mom's a regret the shit she never tried to get fixed. If you're alive, chances are she'll never try to repent. I'm just trying to show you ways to exercise your revenge. All you want is love, right? Well, you gon' have to get some balls. Shoot your fucking brain. Out until they splat against the walls. I mean, it has to hit the blogs, and all your fans will get involved, and you'll be missed. Cause people don't know what they have until it's lost. Hug your dad and kiss your mom before this transition is done into the new life. Your current one is trash, it isn't fun. Yeah, everybody got problems, and we all oh, fighting this. Fuck, that was a deep, that was hard. That whole thing of his inner demon basically trying to convince him to commit, you know, kill himself off himself. That was crazy because, like, that's the real shit monologues that people be having in their heads when they're sometimes having suicidal idolization. Like, I went through that a lot some years back when I was really, really bad in a really depressive state. You go through that like, well, if, I, if I'm gone, then they're going to miss me. They're, if I'm gone, they're going to realize how great I was. If I'm gone, they're going to realize how much they loved me. If I'm gone, they're going to regret all the things they did to me. Like, you have that inner monologue and it's really toxic. And... It's, it's toxic, dangerous, but it's almost like selfish. Like you're doing it so you can get back at somebody almost. Like, I don't know, like that's crazy. That was, that was insane. And the whole point when he pulled out all the guns, didn't that remind you of the mask with Jim Carrey? That totally reminded me of the mask with Jim Carrey. And now that I think about it, the whole suit and everything reminds me with the mask and Jim Carrey. Oh, the fact that he brought up that his kids, I heard a little bit of background story from watching other reactor channels who, talk, who talked about it in the video he did with Lawson and um, NF. Um, talked about like he can't see his kids and stuff like that, which is terrible. I don't know what type of man he is. I don't know what type of father he is. I don't know what mistakes he's made in the past. I do come from a family. I was raised by a mother who vindictively kept us from our father only because he left her. And that was the only reason why she kept us away. Um, and threaten our family if she if our family members let our father see us then she would keep us from them So I personally know from personal experience that women do just vindictively keep kids away from their fathers I'm not saying that's the case here because I don't know But if that is the case or even if he did make a past mistake And he's trying to make it up to it now and be a good father and that's still happening That's just fucked up any woman that's doing that you're a fucked up woman You're a fucked up mom that's just gonna bite you in the ass when they get older You're doing that only for yourself and you're being selfish if that's the case if you're just keeping them away from their father uh, from vindictive reasons that's fucked up and kind of equivalent to child abuse in my in my opinion but let's continue big war but your problems are different you got nothing to live for hey hold up oh no fuck's wrong with me i can't leave me alone with me i'm like who is this nigga why do i feel it could be clear the man inside the mirror Hold up, please stop. It's got control of me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be. I'm like, who is this nigga? And why do I feel? So the whole like hook, you know, hold up, what's wrong with me? Stop controlling me. Hold up, who I, what, who, what nigga am I supposed to be? Whatever he's, he, the lyrics are, like I like that because it's like he's having like he's showing us that he's having a, an identity crisis or ex, ex, exist existential crisis and sort of again battling with the demons and the voices of his head and battling with his identity who's supposed to be maybe he's supposed to be the man he was in the past or he wants to change and he wants to be better but can he do that i like all that struggle but i mean i don't i don't like it that is happening to him but i'm liking as an artist that he's brave enough to put that out there for the world to see because a lot of people can relate to that what I'm thinking, what you're thinking is not the important thing. We are alive right now, that is the important thing. It is important that you focus on this fundamental sense of aliveness within you and then you will see there is a natural distance between you and your thought process. Once you create a little space between you and your mind, between you and your body, this is the end of suffering. Don't identify any thought as negative because it's just a thought. Who told you it's negative? It's just a thought. You're making it up, maybe you like it. What's the problem? If you understand it's just a thought, it has no power. If you think it's a reality, then it destroys you. In the end, he destroys his demons. 
I don't, I don't know exactly who was talking in the end. That's, of course, not uh, um, Hobson I was talking. I've heard that voice before, and I've heard that whole, like, monologue before. Um, it kind of reminds me of the whole thing. There's no bad situations. This is only bad reactions to situations. And that, yeah, your thoughts are just kind of thoughts. And if you, like, the, f the f more that you focus on a thought, it's kind of like, watering a plant the more you focus on the thought the more that negativity grows and grows and grows and then does become your reality so you just have to like not attach yourself to those thoughts you have them and maybe you can do some self-reflecting of why you're having those negative thoughts but not to focus on them attach yourself to them and identify with them you know what i mean um it's the same thing when i was going through my depression i one of the re ways it got me out of my depression is i stopped identifying with my depression as a me as a part of me or who i was my depression was not me therefore this is something i can get away from this is something i could detach from you know what i mean that's helped me a lot to not sort of waddle in my depression and to stop identifying with it that's just how i did things and it helped me out i'm not saying anybody else needs to do that anyway i really really like this video i think it was really really creative i think it was really really artistic of course i love the message in the video i think the you know i like the bass beat but it also had like an old school Motown sort of retro R&B beat to it in my opinion. It had a really like mask Jim Carrey feel to it. I love the sort of back and forth with the demons and the negative thoughts and stuff like that. And I love the sort of positive outlook at the end of it. I really liked it. I love when artists use their art to tell the world how they're feeling and the stuff that they're going through. I think that's one of the purposes of art is to to translate that to your audience so i really really enjoyed it i'm looking forward to more hobson when he comes out with new videos maybe at some point i will go into sort of his past to see what he's done but a part of me feels like he's trying to move on from it so i'm not sure if i want the his past music to sort of taint my view of his present music i don't know but i probably will go back at some point or you guys let me know should like if there's any videos or songs that you're like this is lit you have to listen to this from hobson please put in the comment in the comment section below if you have any other videos you would like me to react to please put in the comment in the comment section below like comment and subscribe guys hit the bell to get the notifications when i do upload all of that helps with the algorithms helps me this channel grow helps me bring you more entertainment i do also have a second travel vlog channel you can go to the description box below hit the link subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or you can go to my instagram and follow me there my stories is usually what's most up to date and you guys have an amazing day bye